Right, well, March is Women's History Month and happening now at Marin Theater in Mill Valley, Justice the Musical, highlighting three iconic women. I had a chance to spend some time with award-winning playwright Lauren Gunderson, who brings to life the story of how these three women broke barriers to get a seat on our nation's highest court. So yeah, these are all plays that I've written um, that are published in various different ways. So Lauren Gunderson is a playwright. I She's the most produced before. playwright in America. And in Justice the Musical, she is telling the story of three iconic women. Sandra Day O'Connor, Ruth uh, Bader Ginsburg, and Sonia Sotomayor. The first three women on the Supreme Court. These three women are not just incredible icons of, of the legal world, but they start to tell the story of America. They, they had like a real wonderful relationship together, a real sisterhood, and that's what we're, we're celebrating here. It's a look at the challenges they faced as change makers, balancing their own private and personal lives. Yeah, so what was, it's fascinating, Sandra and Ruth, beside being incredible legal minds, both moms um, of multiple kids. Come on in. So what justice she hopes people walk away with more than just a lesson in history. But what it's about is people. It's about humanity. It's about these intimate moments and decisions that make us who we are. That's what all good theater is about. But to bring to life a new perspective of this sisterhood. So this is really special because it is actually a book that Sandra Day O'Connor wrote the foreword for. This was her book and she gave it to Ruth. So and how it's told from the stage. What's also really special about it is it's just three women and it's three women playing characters over 50. So you never, ever see that in the American theater. <laughs> uh, uh, I've been in show business 45 years. Like Kathy Murphy, who plays Sandra Day O'Connor in Justice. And this was an experience like none other. What a gift this show will be to character women all across America. Yeah, there's us on our wedding day and our cutie little boys. This mother of two has called the Bay Area home for over 12 years. Oh, hey, Bay Area. You're the best. This play, Justice, that um, is uh, being born at Marin Theater right now will go a lot of to those, uh, those same places across the country. So what we make here in San Francisco, which is a fabulous theater town, does have ripples across the country and, and sometimes the world. And Lauren bring into life these stories that need to be told. Well, joining me now in studio is playwright Lauren Gunderson. First of all, thank you so much for waking up early and being oh, here. What a pleasure, absolutely. It was so nice speaking with you and learning a little bit more about you and your journey. So tell me why it was so important to see more women in roles like yourself, like being a playwright and having mm -hmm. that influence. Yeah, you know, when I was a kid, I loved theater. I loved the electricity, the intimacy, the urgency of it, but I didn't always see stories about me or by women. And so I basically just realized, well, I could be the thing that I need. I could be the person that would write the stories that I want and I need, because if I want and need those stories and know that they are as universal as man stories, then I should be the one to write it. Absolutely. And I'm sure a lot of women were thinking that too, going to, you know, to school and just to have that example, yeah. which you are being now for <laughs> other young up and coming playwrights as well. So Justice is so incredible, talented group of women from behind, you know, from off stage and on stage. So why did you decide to tell this story in a musical? I think that's what makes it so different. Yeah. You know, what bigger and more important thing to sing about than equal justice, um, than the thing that we share, we the people. Um, which is one of the very first numbers you hear in the show. It's, it's so important to sing about the things that are true, but we're also singing about women who had amazing husbands like I do, had a great kids like I do, and incredible ambition and inspiration. So we're singing about the personal and the political, uh, the America and the immediate. I think that's so important too because a lot of what you said is it's their personal and professional lives kind of mixed together and having that support makes the biggest difference. Yeah. I also, when, when we had our conversation um, for the story, you described it as like those big moments. Why not do it in a song? Oh my gosh, that's the whole secret to a musical is you have to sing. And so many of these women, um, Justice Ginsburg and O'Connor and Sotomayor faced the most important decisions for all of us. And so when you, you get an incredibly 
smart and passionate people singing about important things. That's that's what a musical is about. I love it. I love it. Okay, so let's talk about the other things you are doing because you are one busy lady, <laughs> Lauren. So right now, The Time Traveler's Wife is about to open up on the West End in yeah. London, and that's basically London's Broadway. So congratulations. <laughs> that is huge. <laughs> Tell you. us a little bit about that, and who are you working with on yeah, that? Yeah, so actually, my lyricist for Justice is also co-lyricist um, for Time Traveler's Wife in London. It's such an honor. I'm working with some of the best artists in the world, Joss Stone, Dave Stewart of the Eurythmics. We have the West End's absolute best performances, incredible spectacle, because it's a, a show based on, of course, the beloved book by Audrey Niffenegger. And, you know, it's a story that asks the impossible. It's about a time-traveling man, the woman who loves him, who is also an artist and a mother. And, you know, it, it, we, so we have to do something impossible every night, which is make him disappear and tell this impactful, unforgettable love story. And through the power of an incredible music and um, amazing theater, you're gonna you're gonna get something special. I, even just thinking about that, and just because just watching the movie and reading the book, <laughs> how are you gonna? I mean, don't give any secrets, but Oof. just thinking about how that's actually gonna happen just sounds wait, really. Just wait. I'm gonna have to go to London, <laughs> Lauren. Can I sneak in your suitcase? Just yes. find out. That would be really cool. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here. Tell everyone where they can see Justice. So you can come to Marin Theater Company to see Justice. You can find tickets at MarinTheater.org. And just about another week, right? March 12th. Yes. Please come out. Help us prove that women's stories matter. You're going to have an amazing time. The songs you will have in your ears for many, many years to come. And you guys, we have about 10 seconds left, but really quick, the lights went out on opening night. Oh my gosh. Actors nightmare, but our incredible team put on the performance of a lifetime. Wow. It was absolutely unforgettable. What an adventure to kick things off. All right. Well, thank you, Lauren, for coming in. Thank you in. so much.